Hello everyone, welcome to It's Current Year. My name's Alex, thanks for making your way over to my little corner of YouTube. I've wanted to do something like this for quite a while, but I suppose I'd always made excuses and procrastinated, been a bit too scared to jump in and make a start. So I guess given the fact that I've had some time on my hands courtesy of coronavirus in 2020, it seemed like the perfect time to get the ball rolling. So what's the driving force behind the channel? No doubt from the various channel art and the footage currently playing, you'll have guessed that I was and still am an avid fan of the Warhammer Fantasy Battles universe. I started playing the tabletop game in the late 90s as a school kid, probably aged no more than 9 or 10 years old, and several of the guys in my year level had already got on board with the hobby and formed a bit of a club of sorts, which I was keen to be a part of. Luckily one of my close friends was one of the ringleaders, and one weekend, whilst hanging out at his place, I was given my introduction into a hobby that would be the catalyst for many great friendships, memories, and hours upon hours of creative time spent modeling, painting, and gaming. But now a big decision lay in front of me. Which faction was the one for me? There were already several Empire players within the group, Bretonian player, Chaos, Lizard Men, Dwarves were all represented, but one army called out to me almost instantly, the High Elves. Something about the long flowing robes, the high helms, gleaming armour and the ranks of spears pulled me in almost instantly. I got my hands on a copy of the army book, and the cover art itself was almost enough to confirm that I'd made the right decision. Over the coming weeks I read the book cover to cover numerous times, falling more and more in love with them with each read. When I acquired a paint set, and a box of the spearmen and archers, and the old monopose 8 model set, available prior to the multi-part plastic sprues, by now decade span and interest in the hobby was set in stone. As with all aspects of life, time has a way of changing things. When I changed schools for high school, Warhammer was an enormous factor in holding tight the bond I'd made with my junior school friends, something I'm really, really grateful for. Naturally, as the years roll on, people grow up and life moves in all different directions. People pursue new interests, have new commitments and other constraints like study and work take up more time. And Warhammer became very much a secondary hobby throughout the later years of my schooling. The tabletop aspect, sadly, was eventually relegated to a fond memory of yesteryear. Despite this, the joy of getting the brushes out and completing a few models was still something that gave me immense amounts of joy, even if it was a rarity. Regardless of how the time passed, the game stayed close to my heart. Once I'd finished school, my love affair with plastic models was rekindled due to the wondrous concept of having my own disposable income. I worked several jobs during my uni days, so I was able to indulge from time to time on new models and accessories and stay immersed in the hobby despite not really having an avenue to actually play the game. Both my painting abilities and my collection expanded and I added Dark Elves, Lizard Men and Warriors of Chaos into the mix to the point where I've now amassed a fairly sizable collection of each. I've even got a handful of Age of Sigmar models now as well but I guess that'll be a model showcase for another day. It's quite satisfying and in some cases quite amusing how, how my painting skills have progressed over the years as well. I've not had access to the gaming outlet of the hobby for many years. You can imagine how excited I was by the release of Total War Warhammer 1. I wasn't really an avid Total War fan at that stage by any means. I played Total War Rome and Total War Medieval briefly in high school, but even that brief exposure sort of made me really comfortable that Total War was, I guess, a game that could provide the platform and mechanics to flesh out a really faithful interpretation of the fantasy universe via the medium of a video game. Over the last few years, it's, it's been really heartwarming to see the online community that's formed around the game on, on YouTube, and I'm really excited to sink my teeth into it and be involved in whatever way I can. On the channel I'll be focusing I guess mainly on multiplayer content, campaign let's plays and streams and that sort of thing, as well as ongoing discussion about game mechanics and new releases. In addition to this, I'm going to do my absolute best to incorporate some of the creative aspects of the Warhammer hobby into, into my content. Model showcases, painting tutorial and the like for those of you who still have a, an appreciation and an interest in the finer aspects of the hobby. There'll also no doubt be some content on here that isn't related in any way to Warhammer, just to keep things interesting. Anyway, if you're still here, thanks for hanging around and listening. This is hopefully the beginning of something really enjoyable, I've got no idea where it's going to end up, but Warhammer in my experience has always had the effect of, of bringing people together in one way or another. So 
it really is my hope that this channel can continue under that ethos and I hope you'll stick around for the ride. Until next time, it's current year and thanks for watching.